In today's video, we are going to cover all the optimization that you actually need to boost your FPS in Fortnite without using any third party program, just using your Windows settings. So guys, make sure to watch this whole video and let's get straight into it. Here is a quick message. If you want to get the lower ping and lower response time out of your mouse and keyboard in Fortnite or any other game. So guys, you need gear booster on your PC. This is just one click setup. You can download the software for free from the link in the description. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to disable the power saving and disable the power throttling on our PC. That is pulling back the performance of our PC. So guys, for that, you need to press Windows R together from your keyboard and type here gpedit.msc and hit OK. Or you can simply go for Windows search and search for local group policy and you will find out the same exact window. Now you need to go for computer configuration folder, administrative template. Now go for system folder, scroll down and there you will find the power management folder. Go inside it, go for energy saver settings. If you are using the laptop, so this is one of the best settings for you. So go for energy saver battery threshold. So go for it. Now you disable the settings on your PC. For turning off the power saving mode, hit save, hit apply, click OK. Now go for next folder and also make sure to disable the settings on your PC. Hit apply, click OK and guys that's it. Now go back. Now you need to find out here this power throttling settings folder. So go inside it, go for turn off power throttling, double tap here. Now enable the settings on your PC for turning off the power throttling and this can work on your Windows 10 11 to giving you the best performance. So hit apply and click OK. After that, now close out this window. Now in the next step, we are going to unlock maximum potential of our memory of our RAM on our PC for gaming. So for that, go for your Windows Start icon, right click here and open up your system settings. Once you open up your system settings, now go for this advanced settings option and there you will find out this performance tab. On the side, you will find out visual effect, processor scheduling, memory usage and virtual memory. So guys, we are going to optimize all the settings. So go for settings option. Now from here, you need to set it onto the adjust for the best performance if you want to get the more performance. Like as a content creator, I need more visuals and effects. So therefore, I am going with the Let's Window app. Choose what best for my computer. But if you want to get the best performance, go with adjust for the best performance. After that, now go for this advanced option. Adjust for the best performance and guys set it on your programs instead of background service for getting the best performance on your programs. Now go for virtual memory, go for the change button. Now here you will find that automatic manage paging file size for your old drive. So uncheck this box from here and set your C drive on no paging file size. Now go for your D drive and there you will find out the settings. So go for custom size option. Now here you will find our initial size and maximum size. So finding out the best number according to your RAM, you need to open up your calculator on your windows. Now use here the same calculation. So guys now type here the size of your RAM. I have 16 GB of the RAM. So first I need to convert it into the MB to multiply with 1024. And here we got our RAM in the MB. Now multiply this number with 1.5 time of your RAM size and hit OK. Now here you will find out this value that is the 24576. Once you got this value, now reset your calculator. Now again type here 16. Again multiply with 1024 to converting it into the MB. And now this time multiply your RAM size three times of your RAM. So here we got this value. That is the 49152. And guys, once you got here this value, now click on the set button and apply the values on your D drive. Now go for your E drive, go for custom size and use the same exact number. So that is 245 seven six go for maximum size and type here four nine one five two so once you type here this exact number click on the set button again hit on this ok button and guys the changes you have made require you to restart your computer before you can take effect so guys click on this ok button hit apply and again click on this ok button for saving the settings so guys now the next step we are going to use the windows or microsoft original windows optimizer software so guys for that go for your window search search for pc optimizer and here you will find our pc manager app this is officially introduced by the microsoft so therefore you not need to worry about anything this will handle everything for you in just few clicks by the way you can download the software from the link in the description simply go there and download this tool on your pc so guys click on the start button and guys here you will find that this clean interface Welcome to Microsoft PC Manager 3.12. Now here you will find this home tab. Here you will find that this PC boost option. Then here you will find that this boost option, health check, processes, deep clean and the startup option. So go for this set smart boost. And here you will find our PC cleaner will automatically boost your PC when high usage of your M or there are 1 GB of the temporary files. So guys click and turn on this option. 
Now here you will find out the shortcut setting, you can also adjust it, but I don't suggest you to use it. Now after that, now click on this home button again. Now one time click on this boost button. And this will optimize your RAM usage and also clean all the temporary files from your PC. Now next here you will find out this option that is the deep clean, so go inside it. This will scan your whole PC and find out all the junk file of your PC. Now check mark on system checker file. Now here you will find out this application cache, you can delete all the cache from your PC. I'm using the Google Chrome so there is 3.5 GB of the cache so I don't want to delete it so uncheck all these boxes which you not want to delete. After that here you will find out to delete temporary edge files so check mark here. Click on the proceed button and guys we have cleaned like 200 MB data from our PC. Now after that now let's go for the next step that is for your apps tab and there you will find that your process manager, startup apps uninstall and microsoft store so go for uninstall app folder there you will find that all the apps installed on your pc and if you find out any unfamiliar application you can simply uninstall that app from your pc like for example here i got this power automate option so guys click on the uninstall and uninstall the software from your pc now scroll down here we got mobile link so guys make sure to uninstall if this option is available the next scroll down xbox uninstall from your pc now scroll down mail and calendar so guys also uninstall from your pc now scroll down and find out any other application you want to remove from your pc you can guys simply uninstall that from here so now simply close out this tool now you need to one time restore your pc there for all the changes to take effect then launch your fortnite and enjoy the actual fps boost on your pc i hope you love it please make sure to drop a like subscribe to my channel and see you again in the next video